Hi there, and welcome to Draw With Me. It's Thursday. It's time to have some fun, to make some stuff. I'm Danny Gregory, and, you know, all right, let me try this again. It's not Thursday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday afternoon right now, and I'm pretending that it's Thursday because Thursday is when we always do Draw With Me, and... Tomorrow is going to be Thursday, but today it's not. It's Wednesday. Are you in a time machine? No. You're watching what should be a, a live event, and it is always a live event, but today is actually a recording that I will try to make feel as much like a live event as possible. Why is it a recording, you say? What am I doing here? Why is he wasting my time making me come on to YouTube, specifically at noon Eastern time? Why? Because I woke up in the middle of the night last night. That's Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. I woke up and I thought, oh my God, I have a dentist appointment on Thursday morning at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. here in Phoenix, which means that it is going to be 10 o'clock Eastern, which means that I'm going to go to the dentist. The dentist, I think, is going to start to work on giving me a crown on one of my teeth. I've always wanted a crown, but not on my teeth and not at 7 in the morning. And anyway, so it'll take like an hour, hour and a half, and then I'll have half of my face will be anesthetized and I'll be blundering in here to do draw with me with you. And I won't be in any fit condition. I'll be drooling. Half my face will be paralyzed. It will be pathetic and sad and distracting. And so, wouldn't it maybe be better if I canceled it? No. No. We draw together Thursdays at noon Eastern time. And we have for years. I'm not giving it up just because it's some stupid crown. So I decided I'm going to record this, and that's what I'm doing. I'm recording this on Wednesday. If you want to leave now and come back next week when it's live, fine. But I'll pretend that it's live. I'll say, hey, Jane. Hey, Robert. Nice to see you. Oh, thanks for joining me all the way from Alaska, Norbert. Mary, it's so nice to see you again. All right. I'm not going to insult you by pretending that it's that. But it's going to be the same, I promise you. And then... We'll draw together. It'll be fun. You'll entertain each other. You'll chat. You'll discuss it. You'll make fun of me behind my back. And then, who knows, maybe I'll emerge from the dentist feeling great, and I'll come rushing back here, and I'll interrupt this recording, and I'll say, I'm back, and it's live. It's possible. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, in any case, let's pretend, for now, that my plan is going to work. Okay? So, here we go. And I've even arranged for a leaf blower, as you can maybe hear outside, just to keep it authentic feeling, you know, because as you know, leaf blowers provide the, uh, the soundtrack of the show. Anyway, so we just watched the beginning of this episode was lots and lots of little tiny doodly drawings, because that, that's what we did last week. We did um, just mindless playing and having fun and doodling and drawing cats and mugs and all kinds of houses and stuff like that. It was fun. Today we're going to do something a bit different. And part it's inspired by a thing that I want to tell you about that we're doing soon at Sketchbook School, which is our next workshop. It's called Portrait Jam with Julie Johnson. Julie Johnson is an amazing uh, fashion illustrator. She's new to Sketchbook School, but I've long admired her work, and I've been looking forward to working with her when we finally got her to agree to do this. She uh, teaches at SCAD, which is um, an incredible art college um, in, uh, where is it? Is it in, why am I forgetting right now? Is it South Carolina? Anyway, Wilmington. No. Correct me. Tell me where it is. SCAD's in the South. Uh, I've been there. I should know better, but... I'm, pre I'm preoccupied with the thought of my impending drilling into my head. So anyway, she teaches at SCAD. She's also taught in other places around the world. She is really an experienced and fantastic um, artist. 
And uh, so she's going to be teaching Portrait Jam, which is about how do you knock out illustrations quickly? How do you draw people fast, catching a likeness, but also doing it with energy and doing it with lots of different media? She's going to teach us how to do lots of different media. Let me just show you what this workshop is going to be about. That gives you the sense of it, right? We're going to be drawing fast. We're going to be drawing um, all different kinds of people. We're going to be drawing them in graphite. We're going to be drawing them in ink. And we're going to be drawing in watercolor, drawing in watercolor, as well as watercoloring. It's, it's going to be a really cool thing. I think we're going to do nine different portraits in a two to three hour workshop. If you've never taken a live workshop at Sketchbook School, Trust me, there's huge amounts of fun and you learn an enormous amount and we have great teachers and we figured out how to do these workshops. So they are amazing. You can ask questions, you can do all kinds of stuff. It's very good. And if you're a Spark member, yes, that's right. If you're a Spark Breakthrough member, you get to come to all the workshops for free. Don't have to pay for them. But if you're not a Spark member, I'm afraid you do. But you can sign up for it at bit.ly slash portrait jam so go there or go to sketchbook schools web workshop sketchbook schools website to the workshop page and sign up so that is going to be a lot of fun and that's something to look forward to and it's it's inspired me because i've been you know i love to draw people we've so often done these things like we've drawn criminals and we've drawn kings we've drawn selfies we've drawn all kinds of things and i was thinking about that today and i was thinking you know i really feel like i feel like drawing people and i feel like i want to do it i don't know just making up people again carrying on this kind of theme that we've had from last week which is sort of like the fun it is to just have a bunch of pens and markers and brushes and just sit there and make up people so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make up some people. Um, it's going to be fun. And um, let's have a look. What is this, you say? Why, that looks remarkably like your book, Creative License. It's true. This is the Russian edition of Creative License, a book that I wrote a few years ago. And um, I just wanted to, because I was looking at this page in particular, and I was thinking, yes, this was really fun to do. So this is like a little gallery of different kinds of people made up or you could, if you want to you could go and get reference it's totally up to you but in little frames with backgrounds and stuff like that so that's kind of fun um these are painted watercolor i'm not doing watercolor today i'm gonna work with markers but uh that is a fun thing to do so uh we're gonna try and do something like that. this is a sketch pad that i this is like a kid's sketch pad um and i was just like having fun knocking out silly faces recently um, and I was thinking like that was really fun to do you know just drawing various people and having fun doing that just, just making up goofy people and doing it different colors so that's kind of what inspired me today to to just have fun doing something like that today with you here on draw with me so we're going to make a little portrait gallery and we're going to do it using whatever you want, whatever you want to use. Um, but I think it would be fun to let's draw a frame, draw a frame and we'll embellish that frame in a minute. But in the meantime, I want to you know, maybe make a few more frames as if we had like a family gallery, you know, um, These two, I didn't mean these to be so close to each other, and I didn't mean them to be the same size. 
So don't make that mistake that I made. You know, just have fun drawing something that looks kind of like a wooden frame. You know, maybe has some embellishments in the corner. Um, you know, we could do the same here. Just do some little, you know, some doodads that make it feel like a frame. Not to be too perfect, not to draw the ruler or anything like that. Just, you know, draw some frames. And, uh, you know, here I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw something that's, I don't know, here I'm going to draw like a little cameo in a wooden frame. You know, we'll come back and we'll, we'll work on that some more in a while. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'll draw something like, like that. Maybe. Maybe this has a, it's a wooden frame, but maybe it has rounded corners. And uh, we'll come and work on that in a minute. Right now, the idea is just like draw frames, draw what your picture gallery is going to have in it. Um, here's like a lozenge sort of shaped frame. And yeah. We could do more. We could just keep going if you wanted to. Let's see. What if, what if we did, um, what if we did like a, if I don't like that color for this. No, that's, that will not do. Um, So this is almost like a like a, a mat. I have no idea why I made it this bright, strong color. It wasn't really what I intended, but um, it's okay. And then we have maybe another kind of longish portrait here. All right, these frames are <laughs> they're you know they're unusual unusual uh, interior decorating choices that I've made here, but you know it's fun. And now I'm going to just, you know, augment them in some way. Augment them with some decorations. And this one is going to get stuff in the corners. But nonsensical but but you get the idea the idea is make things that look like frames you know and then uh, we'll go in and just continue to embellish them and we can keep working on these some more later on if we want to um, here I'm going to use this little pen here Kind of looks like wood in a sort of not very realistic looking way, but there, you know. The main thing is these are just going to be things that, you know, contain our drawings. So we don't really need to obsess about them too much, nor, nor do we actually need to obsess about uh, the portraits themselves, nor do we need to obsess about, frankly, anything, because this is Draw With Me. And frankly, anything goes, anything goes. So a more three-dimensional looking one. There, okay. You know, I'm too big here. Me and my big self-important frame needs to get smaller. And uh, there, all right. Now, what are we gonna do now here? Let's have some fun with I don't know. Let's just make some faces. Like I'm going to make this guy kind of a big red-faced guy, I'm imagining. Red-faced. Maybe like a sort of jowly, like an ancestor, you know? Or maybe he's like a corporate CEO or something like that. 
you know, with a nice red face. Maybe he's wearing, uh, he's wearing a suit. Maybe it's like a sort of big, big shouldered suit. Yeah, why not? We're making people up here. So we can give them whatever qualities we want. And we'll give him some nice wide lapels. Could even have some pinstripes, subtle ones. Can't really even see them. That's okay. And then let's give him a collar. And a red tie. Power tie. Uh. Okay, so he's got a tie. Now what? What else could he use? Probably some cheeks. Maybe I'm going to give him a nice nose. There you go. And uh, I'll give him some horn rims. Yeah, there he goes. And all right, I'm sort of starting to see his personality come together. Let's give him and uh, maybe he needs some sort of a stash. You know, he's in, he's he's sort of from another era, so we'll give him some kind of kind of biggish mustache, a little bit of hair action there, and uh, now Did have somewhere. Okay, here's a ballpoint pen. That'll do. No, it won't. Give uh, him a little dimension to his face. A bit of a fat neck. A bit of a bit of a nose treatment there. Oh, he looks like an individual, right? Looks like you know. You know who that guy is. He's that guy. You know. You recognize him. You know, so that's that guy. All right. And then if we wanted to, we could go in and do stuff in his background and fill that in. But I, I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. Um, well, let's do somebody else in the same family, maybe. Maybe it's somebody with a long, long face. Long face and a slender neck. Bit of a tan. Maybe she has some decolletage. Maybe it is a woman. Okay. Um, she has sort of hooded eyes, perhaps. And uh, I think she needs she needs a little bit of 
my shadow. All right, now what are we to make of her in terms of her hair? I'm, I'm a little hesitant to give her I'm going to give, I'm going to give her some just gray hair. Why not? Grayish. You know, but it could be glamorous, glamorous gray hair. Why not? Give a sweep to it. There's no particularly uh, important sequence of stages in here. As you can see, I, she's still unclothed, whereas this other fellow began with his clothing. You can begin however you want. Texture, and I'm seeing her as uh, oh, some blue. That might be nice. Maybe she's very blue eyes. Maybe she's known for her blue eyes. Okay, I dig it. Sting lips, be stung. It's nice to you know use multiple versions of the same color to just give a bit of a bit of depth and you know, do some layering. So similarly with her eyes. Now, what is she going to wear to come up with something for her? Um, I think she's wearing a black dress. I seem to remember when I imagined her that she was wearing a black dress. So, but it was sleeveless. some arms. Oof, those are a bit too, a bit too much. And uh, yeah, so what should we do? We should give her Ideally, we would give her a white necklace, pearls. But instead, we're going to give her, I don't know, emeralds? Could that be what this is? There we go. Some emeralds. Oh, she's missing eyebrows. But maybe she has very, very thin, faint eyebrows. She's somewhat disapproving looking. But yeah, here we go. All right, so you get the idea. We're making up people, but they don't they're not necessarily a family. They could be, but they could also be, I don't know, just some randos. 
or they could also be, uh, you know, like a corporate portrait room. Um, let's draw somebody who's very different looking. Um, we need somebody from, an, from another era. So, and they're wearing something quite dramatic, like a purple, ooh, again, with this terrible color. What do you think? You like that squeaky noise? Yep, that's the sound of markers at work. This pink is very intense, but somehow when you layer it, it's acceptable. All right, so this person is wearing some kind of a some kind of a uniform, maybe with uh, epaulets. And it's like a Russian thing. Is it Russian? Whatever. Some thing like that, and maybe they also have this sort of. Uh, really nice mustache, and they also have mutton chops, as one will have mutton chops. Do you remember how there was a time briefly, a few years ago, when young guys were getting into all this facial hair and like really elaborate beards and stuff. And I, I just thought like, that's never gonna last. It's much too annoying doing that, looking after that kind of facial hair, but I guess it looked fancy. And uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of good. Let's give him a monocle. Ooh. Monocle. You know, that's something that never came back in fashion. The monocle. I wonder why. I should bring it back. Start wearing a monocle instead of wearing glasses. All right, so that's some dude with a monocle and mutton chops. Fun, fun to have. What is this? What goes on in here? What do you think? How about maybe, maybe it's two people? What if it is twins? Yeah. Really? Great, I'm glad I thought of that. That's going to be a bit annoying to draw. Let's see if we can do it, though. It kind of means drawing the same thing twice, but maybe there's some slight difference between them. Could be, right? Like one is... Maybe they're very similar, but maybe they have, like, unibrows. The unibrow twins. When I was in high school, we had these two Russian twins that were like transfer students who came over. And uh, they were in my grade, and uh, their names were Gene and Igor. 
We used to call them gene and chromosome. Because if we were cruel, as one will be in high school. So. Maybe they have uh, unibrows, but then they also have sort of like neck beards. I guess the idea of this exercise is uh, characters. Create recognizable characters. So we figured out what's different about these two guys. What's the difference between them? This one is wearing sort of a, well, I was gonna give him like one of this baseball t-shirts, but that just seems inappropriate for a photograph like this. So maybe they're just the same, similar, but one's red, one's blue. Not very imaginative, but maybe we'll, we'll see. Let's see what else they tell us they wanna be. Sort of the thing that happens when you do these kind of characters, you suddenly go, oh, that, that's that kind of a guy, and he needs this sort of a thing, right? So maybe this one has, kind of like wobbly t-shirt and uh, of course his friend will have to have that what else can we tell about them? I was going to say, maybe they have very different hairstyles, but they're both. Maybe this one has sort of like a modified afro, curly hair, and this one has sort of short back and sides. It can happen. Different kinds of hair genes or different kinds of hair decisions. Maybe one of them is serious, and one of them is kind of friendlier. All right. Sort of part of the idea. <laughs> All right. What do we, what go, what's going on in this, in this frame? I have an idea for this person. Maybe, maybe this person is a child. With kind of pigtails. Kind of screwed up that pigtail. Maybe I'll just make it a bit thicker. And um, she's wearing maybe she's wearing some sort of a lace thing. Could be. So we... something kind of cute and simple. And she is there we go. She's missing one tooth. <laughs> I 
I'm I'm sorry that this child is a bit unfortunate. All right, it's something like that. <laughs> it fits into the sort of unfortunate family tree that we have here. Now, I'm imagining this person is you know, again, we don't need to we don't need to use real colors of people you can make up whatever you want you can decide that uh, you want to have Sort of a shaggy. Maybe, maybe this is maybe this is sort of the unfortunate monster in the family. Just you know, he's a little, he's a little. Maybe he's a little seasick, or maybe he's actually a monster. Um, Yeah, he looks sort of unhappy with having been drawn that way. But that's the way it works. You know, some people have the looks in the family, and some people have unfortunate green skin. That's just your bad luck, my friend. I didn't mean that to happen to you, but it did. So now the next stage would be, I think, to... Oh, we do still have one more person over here that I haven't drawn. All right, let me just draw him quickly, or her, or it, or them. Maybe this is sort of the blockhead of the family. what one could also do is get into doing some kind of a cool background you know we could do we could draw wallpaper here behind behind all the portraits if we wanted to um, we could certainly draw backgrounds behind each of the each of the faces Maybe this person's sort of the, the black sheep of the family. You with me? You know that mysterious guy who we don't see very often? Not 
sure what his deal is, but uh, there he is, and he's got, you know, what should he be wearing? He should be wearing like a, you know, no, not a brown suit. He should be wearing something a bit more, he's wearing a green suit. And uh, maybe a black turtleneck underneath. I'm back. I'm interrupting this drawing to uh, give you a live update on my condition. I'm fine. I'm still able to uh, do virtually anything within certain limits, but I'm feeling better. And um, I appreciate your tolerance for my live recording. Uh, I'm gonna continue working on this drawing and continuing to, uh, you know, to heal, to heal as we must all heal. Um, I actually, I recorded this yesterday afternoon. I continue to work on it well into the late hours and uh, you know what? Let's see if I can show it to you where I am now. Because as I said, I've uh, continued to work on it. Here it is. Um, here I am. So yeah, so I'm continuing to work on it. I painted the wall blue. I'm thinking that I might do some kind of uh, wallpaper or something. We'll see. But uh, yeah. It's continuing to progress. They are continuing to be defined as people. So that's the situation right now in the family gallery. And uh, it's all good. So yes. So just reminding you, Portrait Jam coming up. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I think taking it will, would be be helpful, particularly when it comes to doing something like this, this gallery. Um, Julie Johnson will be teaching us stuff. That will be cool. And uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for being here as part of uh, Sketchbook School. Let's get rid of that horrendous memory. <laughs> Nothing like taking a selfie in the dentist's chair. <sighs> what has become of our civilization? Anyway. Thanks for joining me. Next Thursday, I will be here. I will have all my teeth. Um, I will be coming. I have I actually have several very cool ideas that I want to work on with you. Um, I'm going to continue working on this in the uh, after party, the Spark after party. I'm sure by now you're thinking about joining Spark because you're like, I want to go to that free that workshop for free. I want to draw with Danny every day. I want to. I want to. I want to. You can. So what markers were those? Those were Windsor Newton Pro markers. And uh, I enjoy them. I was also using Derwent Ink Tense Pencils. And I was working on Hanamura Bristol to finish my piece. So um, I'll see you. I'll see the Spark folks pretty soon in uh, nine minutes and I'll see the rest of you next week. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for drawing with me. And by the way, if you would like to share what you've made, your family portraits or wall gallery, put it on Facebook, put it on Instagram, put it in the schoolyard, tag it with SBS Draw With Me, and then we'll be able to find it and we'll be able to do an incredible gallery of galleries next week um, at the beginning of the next episode of Draw With Me. Um, will I let you know the materials that you'll need for Draw With Me? No. Because here's the idea, Betsy. Let me just say this before I leave. It doesn't matter what you use, you know, and a lot of times I make it up as I go along, so you can feel free to do that too. So don't worry about it. It's cool. Um, generally, I use Winsor Newton markers. I use Winsor Newton watercolors. I use, you know, ink tense pencils. I use gouache. I use 
fine liners, whatever, just grab stuff, whatever I have sitting around. So, all right, how do you get into the schoolyard? Betsy, you um, contact info at sketchbookschool.com and we'll hook